Its roots go back to Leviticus chapter 25, as Israel is settling in to the land that God had promised, and they have now established themselves within. 400 years in Egypt, a strange land, not their own. 40 years of wandering in the desert. And now, as they establish themselves, they put this principle in place. Seven years of seven, and then a year of glorious celebration, the year of jubilee, once every 50 years. All debts are forgiven. All slaves and servants are set free. The land goes back to those who originally owned it. Remember, as they established themselves in the land, portions of that land were assigned to families. And in the year of Jubilee, it was like the great reset, the great do-over, the great celebration, a grand and glorious year for those who were in debt, for those who were indentured, for those who had lost the sense of freedom, who were on the wrong side of fortune in life. As they stood before the water gate, it was that kind of a year, that kind of a time for the people of Israel. Isaiah proclaims that in the 61st chapter as he talks about the wonder and the excitement. Well, after the last two years, no, it hasn't been 40 years of wandering and certainly hasn't been 400 in a foreign land, but many of us feel like we're in foreign territory and we're more than ready for a year of Jubilee. Will this be the year, this year that's spreading out before us? Will this be that kind of time for us as a nation, for us as a church, for us as individuals? A time of rejoicing and resetting and recalibrating for the kind of future God has dreamed for us? Well, it's going to depend a lot on you. It's going to depend a lot on God and the way we're able to work together. This has been more from West Highlands United Methodist Church with a thought for your day. Thank you.